Hey guys, it's Katie with SB, and today we're going to install our cold air intake part number 75-5137 on the 2020 and up GM 1500 3.0 liter Duramax. So let's get started. Before we start the install, we're going to go ahead and disable the air filter life. And to do that, you'll scroll over to the settings and scroll down to the info page options. Click on it, make sure that the air filter life is checked. And if it is, then you go back to the info page and you'll scroll to find the air filter life. And you'll click OK and then you'll hit disable and then you're done. With the ignition turned off and the parking brake set, you're gonna disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Next, you're gonna remove the hood latch. Next, you're gonna remove all 10 push rivets that are securing the large plastic air diverter to the vehicle, and then you can remove it. Don't forget the ones on the back side. Now you can remove it. Now you're gonna to need to remove these two support braces. Next, you're going to remove these two bolts that are securing the coolant and the fuse box. Yeah. To give us a little bit more room, we're just going to move the coolant over to the side. In order to move the fuse box, you're going to have to take a flathead screwdriver and stick it in the middle and there's going to be like a little tab that you'll push forward and you can be able to pull it out. And then remove the bracket, put the fuse box over to the side. Next, we need to remove the push rivet that's securing the stock air inlet, but make sure you don't lose this one because it is special. All right, and then once you have it disconnected, you're gonna pull up on it so it's flat and it's disconnected over here. We need to remove the large wire harness, and the easiest way to do that is if you push down, tilt, and then pull up. Now you're gonna remove the two push rivets that are secured around the wire harness. To remove the mass airflow sensor extension harness, you're gonna pull out on the red locking tab, push down, and then pull out. Loosen the two clamps that are attached to the flex coupler, and then you'll remove it. Next, you're gonna remove the nut with the captive washer that's securing the air box to the vehicle, and make sure you don't lose that one because we are gonna use it later. The easiest way to remove the air box is if you lift up to unseat it from this prong, and then you'll push forward to remove it back here, and then tilt it and lift out. Now you need to decide what kind of configuration you wanna set up. So you can go straight to the stock intake tube, and if you wanna do that, you'll fast forward to step 29, or you can go to the turbo. And if you wanna do that, you'll go to step 21. So going to the turbo is gonna give you maximum performance and going to the intake tube is gonna give you about half the restriction benefit as if you were to go to the turbo. In order to remove the engine cover, you're just gonna remove this bolt and then you're gonna remove the oil cap and then you'll lift up and pull out. And once you have the engine cover removed, you'll put the oil cap back on. To give us a little bit more room to move this tube out, we're going to remove the bolt that's securing the coolant and then we'll push it forward so it sits where the air box was. Now you're gonna loosen the clamp that's securing the tube to the turbo. So it is gonna be kind of hard to reach and you don't have a whole lot of room, but it's gonna be the hose clamp that's uh, closest to the front of the vehicle. Now we're gonna remove this tube and we're gonna do that by lifting up to unseat it from the grommet and then we'll push and pull out. Now you're gonna install this grommet onto the bracket and then you're gonna install the bracket onto the long SMB intake tube. So you'll know it's the right direction when the small side is on your right, the larger side's on your left, and then the bracket will face towards you. Now you're gonna put the clamps onto the step coupler and then install it onto the tube. After you install the coupler, you're gonna wanna tighten this one down, leave the front one loose, but not so loose that it's gonna fall off, and then we can install it into the vehicle. Now you're gonna install the SMB intake tube. When installing the intake tube, you wanna make sure that you pull the coupler fully onto the turbo. It is gonna be a little tight, but you will be able to get it on. And then once you have it fully on, you can tighten down the hose clamp. So it was a little bit hard to see on camera, but basically what you wanna do is make sure that bracket that you installed on the tube earlier is fully seated in that prong. 
Uh, this should be the correct orientation. If it's a little lower or a little higher, then you don't have it seated correctly. Now you're just gonna put the coolant reservoir back in place. And secure it down using the screw you removed earlier. Install the silicone inlet seal onto the airbox. Next, you're gonna install the wire harness bracket onto the airbox. We're gonna install the grommet into the bracket and then the washer into the grommet and then we'll install all of it onto the airbox. Now it's time for you to decide whether or not you want to install the optional silicone box plug. For the purpose of this video, we're going to keep it uninstalled. Now you're going to install the grommets onto the mounting prongs. Now we're going to install the airbox into the vehicle and you want to make sure that these prongs go into the holes. Now you're going to loosely reinstall the captive washer. Reinstall the fuse box bracket and then secure it down using the screw. Next, we're gonna reinstall the radiator support bracket. Now we're gonna work the air inlet into the S&B air box. Now you're gonna reinstall this push clip that you uninstalled earlier. Now you're gonna secure the nut with the captive washer through the top of the air box. Now you're just gonna slide the fuse box back in place. Now you're gonna attach the large wire harness to the bracket. Push the push rivets on the wire harness into the air box. Next, you'll put the coolant reservoir back in its place and secure it down. Reinstall the support brace. Reinstall the plastic air diverter and all 10 push rivets. Reinstall the hood latch. You're gonna take your zip tie and you're gonna install it onto the other side of this hole. Install the clamps onto the coupler and then the coupler onto the intake tube. Install your air filter into the air box. Now you're gonna remove the mass airflow sensor from the stock air box and install it onto the SMB intake tube. Install the intake tube onto the tube side and then the filter and then you can tighten down the clamps. Now you're gonna attach the mass airflow sensor extension harness to the mass airflow sensor, and then you'll drop it down and run it through the zip tie, um, and then up to the extension harness. Now you'll just take the provided zip ties and zip tie the harnesses together to keep them out of the way. Now you're gonna reinstall the engine cover, and don't forget to take off the oil cap first. Insert the grommet into the hole. Remove the protective coating from both sides of the lid and then install it into the lid seal. Now install the lid onto the air box. And last but not least, don't forget to reconnect the negative terminal on the battery. All right guys, so that's it. It is a pretty easy install, but if you have any questions or you just wanna know more, you can always give us a call or check it out on our website and I'll see you next time.